Hunter Biden is now suing the IRS for allegedly leaking his information to Congress and also to media outlets. The president's son claims agents investigating him disclosed his confidential tax information during non-sanctioned national TV interviews and numerous public statements. This is the latest in the Hunter Biden saga. He is currently dealing with federal indictments, a failed plea deal, and a prolonged investigation into his finances. Let's bring in May Mailman, a senior legal fellow at the Independent Women's Forum, and News Nation political contributor Chris Hahn uh, to weigh in. May, let me start with you here uh, and your take on this lawsuit. Were Hunter Biden's privacy rights as a taxpayer violated when these two IRS whistleblowers came forward? Well, he's certainly going to argue that in court, but I guess I have to question why he brought this lawsuit in the first place. It can't possibly be to collect a few thousand dollars from the feds, which is what the lawsuit asked for, nor do I think it's really because he's embarrassed, as he says. So for me, I'm trying to figure out, well, well why are you spending money on this lawsuit? And I, I see a couple of reasons. And the first is to show an aggressiveness, a warning. If you're going to come and you're going to make accusations, you're going to talk to the public, just know that the Bidens have resources and it's not going to be consequence free. I think the second reason is to make Hunter Biden into a little bit more of a victim. This is something that President Trump has definitely done. It's been, I guess, successful for him. Um, and to have a little bit more victimhood, I actually think it's going to be a little bit successful. The Republicans have gotten a little bit too much into the Hunter Biden obsession and forgotten what the real goal is, which is what's the connection with Joe yeah. Biden? And by continuing to make them, yeah. you know, I think that's a good strategy. Yeah, I want to talk about more about the victim, uh, you know, part of that equation in just a minute. But Chris, I, I got to go to you. What say you about all this? And I know you've also have come out and said it's going to be a rough Thanksgiving for the Bidens and also America. What, <laughs> what do you mean by that, Chris? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that everybody's going to be talking about these lawsuits and, of course, the many uh, indictments of, of Donald Trump. And we're going to have a we're going to have a Thanksgiving table where, thank God, there's going to be a lot of food, so people are going to have their mouths shut for the most part. But we're all going to be arguing about this stuff, and I think there's a false equivalency between what's happening with Hunter Biden, who had a problem with drugs that led to much of what happened in his life, in his criminal, uh, you know, in, in the criminal complaints against him, versus what Donald Trump did, which was a crime against the United States of America and not an individual foible, as was Hunter Biden. Now, I think that it's perfectly legitimate for Hunter Biden to say to the IRS, you should not have released this information. And I think that it's something that all Americans should be concerned about. None of us should want our private tax information that we turn over to the IRS uh, released because somebody's got a political vendetta or even a personal vendetta against you, as it might be for one of us uh, down the road. So I, I, I support his lawsuit. Uh, and I, but I, I want to make it very clear. There is no equivalency between what Trump did and what Hunter Biden did. Trump was president of the United States, and, and, and I don't believe he was ever on drugs when he was doing this stuff. And Hunter Biden had a problem, a real disease that many American families have dealt with. And, 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 and maybe he should be punished for the crimes he committed. But to put him up in the same light with, with, the, pre, with the former president is just not legitimate. Yeah, and and also we we know that um, those financial the the tax charges could come in a separate indictment on the horizon. Uh, May, I don't know if you disagree with Chris there, but going back to your your point of victimhood, I'm curious if this lawsuit isn't just for Hunter, um, but it's also for his dad and you know the 2024 campaign. T to your point. We've seen Trump polling and fundraising skyrocket in the wake of his legal woes. Are there political motivations to this lawsuit? Not just to save face, but to, to save his dad. I, I think we can't uh, discount that. His attorney, Abby Lowell, former Clinton lawyer, very aggressive, very strategic lawyer. So I'm sure that there's some of that going on. I find it a little bit interesting because this is painted as a invasion of privacy. This is embarrassing, but it's not actually the release of the numbers of his tax returns that he's concerned about. That is in the plea deal. I mean, that is very public and has been for a while. That's not his concern. His concern was the IRS saying, look, uh, the IRS whistleblowers. The IRS stymied our investigation here and here and here. We recommended charges here. We weren't able to investigate here. They said no to this. 
So that's what he's complaining about. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.